Today we're in the kitchen with Janie Hibbler. Janie's the author of The Berry Bible and also Wild About Game. And today she's going to show us how to make some quail. I am. We're going to make a little quail that I serve on a bed of greens with fresh huckleberries. All right. Well, let's get started. Okay. So the first thing I do when I'm cooking quail, or actually any game meat, is I want to dry them off because I'm going to put a rub on the, on the quail. And if you don't dry it off, the rub doesn't stick and it gets diluted and you'll get, and you'll get spattering. Good tip. So, yep, we dry them off. I put them on a paper towel so I automatically get one side. Then this rub uh, for the quail, I'm using a teaspoon of salt and some uh, thyme. A little bit of thyme. So where do people get quail? I know a lot of people haven't cooked with it before. Yeah, this quail I buy at Zupan's and um, they're really great because they're partially, they're called semi-boneless. So they really just have the little bones and the wings and the legs. So you put the rub on one side, turn them over. How many uh, do you need for a serving? Well, you know, it depends. I mean, I can be happy with one, um, but I would say most people like two. So Actually, plan on two. And my husband sometimes can even eat three. So, <laughs> but I love to serve it on a salad with huckleberries this time of the year. Okay, so these are ready to go. We're going to put them in our hot pan, and I just have a little bit of oil. And are they going to cook in the pan the whole time? They are, and then we're going to make the dressing right in the same pan, so it's a really easy dish. So tell me a little bit about game cooking. You know, why should people do it? The most important thing, it tastes delicious. Okay. It's good, but it's also so good for you. You know, man has not survived on Earth for 200,000 years by eating processed food. So game, nuts, berries, you know, wild grains. Now, in the, the difference is when you're cooking, um, say, chicken, but between quail would be the fat in the chicken is intermuscular. But when you use game meat, the fat's around the muscle. Okay. So game meat is especially healthy and it's loaded with So it's meat. a lot lower in fat. That's then. right. Okay. And this is actually designed not necessarily just for quail, your recipe. Is that right? Right. And actually in my book, I use this with um, pork, with um, venison tenderloin. Okay. And sometimes I actually just even use pork tenderloin if I don't have any game. Great. So about how long is this going to cook? It will take about, it takes about maybe seven or eight minutes. All right, we'll, we'll let it keep cooking. Okay. So Jenny, we've taken the quail off, so what are the mm -hmm. final steps here? The final steps are, we're just going to, we've sauteed some shallots and a little bit of olive oil. Okay. And then we're just going to add a little bit of balsamic dressing. Just going to get all the good Vinegar. bits off the bottom. That's right. And right. then that is going to be our dressing for the salad. And what temperature did you cook that quail to? The quail was just cooked to medium. Okay. So we're going to add this to our greens. Smells good. Yep. And we're going to give them a little toss. And then we're just going to put those quail right on top. And we're going to sprinkle with a tiny bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And then the huckleberries come in. The huckleberries. <laughs> we'll just sprinkle those right on top. Awesome. That sounds good. So while Janie's finishing up plating here, I'm talking with Jeff Latham of Nikki Farms. He's going to tell us a little bit about an event called Wild About Game. We're hosting our 11th year at the Resort at the Mountain on September 18th, which is a celebration of great foods from the Northwest, primarily game, with uh, 14 chefs from the Northwest. We've got a, a black box cooking competition that is unlike any other competition in the country. We've got an artisan marketplace with all kinds of local products, primarily game, local charcuterie, wines, distilled spirits. We also have four cooking demos going on throughout the day that'll be incredible. First opportunity for people to try Albirico de Beota, which is the acorn finished hogs from Spain that we'll be introducing that are similar to a wild boar. They can buy tickets at NikkiUSA.com. It's a fantastic day if you really enjoy food and finding out what the latest and greatest is in game. Great, thanks for all that information. I'm looking forward to that event, but right now I'm gonna dig into this recipe here, the quail and huckleberries. Okay. Thanks a lot, Janie. You're welcome.